Hello and welcome to this week's video, texturing and colouring a sycamore bowl. I'm showing the whole process this time because I'm making this bowl for sale in the Brighton Festival that's happening in May. So that's why you're seeing pictures of me making the back and putting a bit of texture on and sanding and finishing. But we'll skip through that very quickly and get to the texturing and colouring part. And as always, I hope you enjoy the video and if you have any comments, that would be great to receive them. OK, I'm going to be using the Proxon with one of their rasps today to texture the rim. Going for a sort of scalloped approach. Uh, I've used my indexing uh, spaces, had a little practice with the, the Proxon in there, just checking that it's cutting nicely. Just deciding the colours now. The, the first one I did of these was red, but I think I'm going to go. I think I'm going to go with some blues. It's reminding me a bit of a sort of bit of sea wood between weathered and textured. Uh, this is the first attempt I had at this. As you can see, it's gone a bit oval. It's a bit of ash and still too wet, but I couldn't resist. Uh, I was happier with this one with the edges. Um, each segment angled down I thought gave it a bit more of an interesting um, appearance. The second time I did it, um, not angled this time but deeper groove so a bit more sort of heavier texturing than some of the other ones I've done and uh, colour combination that I've used quite a lot so I'm going to try to do something a little different from the two of these today. I'm going to start off with the last of my sample bottle of the Royal Blue stain from Chestnut and I think I'm going to spray pretty much the whole bowl but then I'm going to sand the high spots off. I'll just start off by going in in the gaps. curious as to know what the white will do although I have managed to contaminate a bit with pink somehow just lightening yeah it's just sort of picking up some of the high spots just trying to get it to catch the edges Yeah, I'm happy with that. And the next thing of course is to seal it, so with a sanding sealer. First coat is dried, time for a second. And just drying off a third coat of sanding sealer now. I want I'm just going to denib that now and before I put a bit of lacquer on. I'm just going to put one coat of lacquer on for now and then carry on with the turning when that's had a chance to dry and I'll put more coats on at the end before I finish it and buff it. Okay, first coat of lacquer has dried. Just going to give it a little denib and then I'm actually going to put a second coat on before I take the middle out. 
as I'm hoping to sell this one, no point rushing it. Okay, a couple of coats of sanding seal have gone on, and a bit of burnishing cream. Don't need very much of this. Getting a nice shine on. <coughs> Here is today's piece. Um, very pleased with that. I really like the colours. It's very bright, much more vibrant than, than the other blue one I've just shown you. But I'll, I'll put some steels on and hopefully that'll convey it more convincingly than me just telling you. Thanks for watching.